So I haven't been able to get in touch with our guest. So we're just gonna do a, a random Q and A. So feel free to you know just uh, get your questions in if you have questions about anything. Um, it doesn't have to be about fitness. I'm definitely not uh, the fitness guru that Delilah is, so um, I won't be able to give you quite as uh, detail she can give you. But I'll do my best and, you know, put in any questions you want, regardless if it's uh, fitness related or not. And we'll we'll see what we can see what about. All right, so I see you guys in the chat. I don't know if you're still here. <laughs> I know we are quite late today, and again, I apologize. But um, yeah, so let me know what's uh, what's going on with you guys. It's great to always be with you, whether it's uh, you know solo or with a guest. Um, and yeah, I also I just want to uh, give you guys a quick heads up that today, can you guys hear me okay? Everything looks good on my end. I, th I think we should be okay. Um, today is the last day to get the Vegan Health Bundle. All right. So if you guys are looking for uh, over $8,000 worth of valuable vegan, holistic health, uh, healthy vegan content, you know, this isn't uh, a bundle that's full of like, uh, processed vegan foods. It's a very whole food centered, health focused vegan bundle. Um, it's run or it's put on by uh, Lissa Maris from Raw Food Romance and Chef AJ. So I always say, you know, when these two get together to put together a bundle, they've got all the connections with all the greats in this uh, community and in, you know, the plant based world. Uh, doctors and nutritionists and dietitians and chefs. and coaches and you know all the all the people you would want to learn from uh they bring together and put into these bundles and i'm honored to be a part of it i've got my book uh five star salad revolution in there and even if you have my book i hope you do but if you don't you can get it in this bundle and it would be like 33 cents when you consider Everything else that you're getting, because again, it's over $8,000 worth of content. Biggest bundle I've ever been in, so that's really cool. Um, but yeah, even if you have my book, you still are getting, <clears throat> you know, the $8,000 worth of other, other people's content out there. So I'm just going to give you a few highlights, and feel free to interrupt me uh, and ask your questions as I'm you know, giving you the the promotion here. But uh, I, I do really think it's a valuable uh, bundle. So definitely just check it out. Just look through it. You don't have to buy it. You know, just click the link and go look at what's in there. Um, all right. How are things here? I look a little... Uh, is, there a, is there a lag? Things look a little slow on my screen here. Um, all right, I think we're good. So in this bundle, it is over 150 different contributors, as I said, doctors, dietitians, fitness experts, uh, you know, anybody that you would, you know, want to learn from again, from uh, about this lifestyle, about eating healthy, about having a healthy lifestyle. Um, there's courses in there, there's ebooks, there's uh all sorts of stuff hey what's up mallory uh let's see mallory has a question here if i'm eating watermelon and my friend is eating a beef taco and we both feel just as wonderful about how healthy the food is for us are they both really equally healthy as my friend argues Ooh, that's a great question all right before i answer that amazing question uh, the link is in the description box for the bundle. 
like I said, over $8,000 worth of content, vegan, oil-free, healthy, raw, and cooked recipes. So if you're not looking to be fully raw, there's, there's both raw and healthy cooked whole food vegan uh, recipes. You also get a collector's edition uh, recipe ebook with over 60 spring-themed recipes, mindset-focused content, fitness programs, kid-focused content for those families out there, meal plans, and so much more. Uh, again, it's only available through today. Today's the last day you can get it. Tonight at, uh, I think, 11.59 Pacific Standard Time is the last time you're going to have a chance to pick all this up. Uh, once it's gone, it's gone for good. And yeah, so again, just look through the link, click the link, look through there. And of course, I do get a commission from this. So, you know, look at my bias as as you wish. But uh, I think it is very valuable. I think you'll want to check it out. All right. So Mallory, great question. I, I love I love this question because it is a common thing where I hear people saying, you know, uh, that the way you look at food, the way that you interpret how that food is going to affect you is the most important thing. And so if you believe that that beef taco is going to nourish your body, that you're, it will, right? And, and you won't have any, you'll have just great health from just believing that that beef taco is just as good for you as that juicy, hydrating, antioxidant-rich watermelon, right? All right, so, you know, to a slight extent, it is true that the, the perception that you have, the mindset and the intention that you put into the food and as you consume it is important, right? So if you're, if you're eating in a stress state of any kind, it's going to, you know, diminish some of the benefit and the ability for your body to digest, absorb, utilize, and eliminate that food. But it's only, it's only so much that that uh, is going to help you in terms of if you're eating foods, you know, if you consider that food, if, if you consider a beef taco food, which in my opinion, that's falling under hypnosis from the, uh, from what I call the industry spell. All right, the industry spell hypnotizes people into believing that non-food items are food, right? So this is why you go to a grocery store and, you know, what is it, 95% of what you can buy there is sitting on a shelf at room temperature for months or years at a time, and somehow we believe that that is considered food with all the ingredients that you can't even pronounce and all the preservatives and all the emulsifiers and all the, you know, flavorings and synthetic chemicals, you know, we have somehow been convinced through, I, I think it's hypnosis that these things will nourish our body. You know, whether people are, you know, thinking that it's because they're thinking positive thoughts about that food or not, uh, regardless, you, you can't, Think your way into a healthy body if you are putting in foods that are not compatible with health. All right. So while while she may maybe maybe she this person or who, anybody in this situation is you know receiving a little less harm from it by thinking positive thoughts about it. I don't know about that, but we'll just give her the benefit of the doubt and say that hey. Uh, if you think positive thoughts about eating bad food, you know, maybe there's a, a slight benefit. We'll just pretend. But the better thing to do would be to think positive thoughts and have positive actions and feed your body the foods that truly nourish. You know, it, think, think of the power of putting in nourishing foods combined with positive thinking and gratitude and, you know, self-love and love for others, including the, the cow, that, the multiple cows that went into that beef taco. 
and suffered uh, and were had their heads chopped off so that you know some people can eat a beef taco that you know is is harming them regardless if they're thinking positive thoughts or not um, and harming so much else so so yeah I mean that as a long long answer to uh, to that question but I would say that thinking positive only goes so far and if you're putting in foods that are truly non-foods especially these foods that are you know dry foods dry foods come on they're the worst right so I, I've I've been working on how to communicate this idea of of the the importance of eating wet food okay wet food that's so key your your food should be wet just like the inside of your body you know is is wet i guess but uh it's hydrated you know you want hydrating foods because your two main systems that keep you healthy your blood and your lymph are water-based systems and so if you're consuming foods like a dry taco shell with uh with uh dry ground up cows and you know uh coagulated cow pus which some people call cheese uh you know these things and sour cream and things um they they create such uh an acidic and you know inflammatory condition in the body that is not hydrating it is dehydrating and it causes the body to use a lot of its internal hydration to digest to break it down you know to, to digest it to utilize it to eliminate it to get it through the body and get it out you know so that without with the fewest you know amount of harm so that's my answer. I think uh, I think it's much a, a much better idea to learn uh, that uh, you know our true biology and physiology that you know we are frugivorous animals, and you cannot outthink. <laughs> oh, Sherry said, "Is he gone? Can you hear me? Did I just go on a long uh, dialogue? My <laughs> diatribe." that uh didn't get heard by anybody um hopefully you heard my answer can you hear me sherry all right so i hope i hope that was somewhat clear i didn't get a lot of sleep last night and losing the hour in daylight savings time really kind of messed with me so <laughs> so yeah i'm uh i'm a little i'm not quite as sharp today as i would like but uh i did Get in my 32 ounces of lemon water this morning, and I got in a little bit of a workout. Okay, great. Thank you, Mallory. Thank you for letting me know. So yeah, um, that is uh, perfect. Perfect. Thank you so much. That's my answer. I hope uh, I hope it was somewhat coherent and valuable. All right, Socorro Mira Mirillo. Sorry if I mispronounced that. Thank you for being here. Appreciate you showing up here. Uh, good morning from Chicago. Nice. I, oh, Socorro got the bundle a few days ago. Said it's amazing. Yes. Thank you so much. I uh, hope you enjoy it. I hope it really benefits you. Uh, that, you know, I, I don't promote things that I don't think will benefit people. And so I definitely um, ex am excited for you and anybody else that chooses to, to get the bundle. And I thank you for supporting me um, if you use my link. So you want to do that the link is in my in the description box down below all right so that was a good question thanks mallory and uh yeah has anybody else got any other questions that they want to pop in um yeah so let's see what can we talk about here so i do let's see what time is it Eleven fifty-one central time um so we do have the the game show coming up which again my favorite time you know my favorite show of the week it is it's such, i love i love it so i hope you guys have been enjoying it uh, i think we got some good questions uh for the contestants today uh we've got tara and gary uh showing up to be on the show and again if there's anybody out there that wants to be on the show you don't have to be uh you know a social media influencer or anything i uh, you know anybody that wants to be on the show could be on the show so if you want to have some fun, test your holistic health knowledge, send me a, uh, either a DM on Instagram or 
just uh, send me an email at matt at myrawintuition.com. And I would be happy to, to get you on the list of contestants to be on the show. All right, Tessa, what's up, Tessa? Tessa says, what is your favorite type of workout? Great question. Great question. My favorite types of workout type of workout is very simple. It's calisthenics. You know, I like to do push-ups. I like to do body weight exercises. I don't go to the gym. Some I do sometimes, but it's been years on it. Yeah, at least years. It's been uh 2020. You know what happened then? I stopped going to the gym, haven't been back. So uh I, I don't care to go to gyms usually. I was kind of getting into it and I will say I did I did get bulkier when I went to the gym because they have all the, you know, all the machines and all the weights there that you can use. Here I only have, you know, like a a 40 and a 50 pound and a 35 pound dumbbell that I can use for free weights. Um and then I pretty much just do pull-ups, push-ups, um stair climbing i just run up and down my stairs um I, I love to do hiking as a workout you know if you can do some hiking where you're you know you're really putting some effort into it and you're not just kind of slowly walking through which is good too i like doing that but if you know i i really like actually doing almost like a speed walk through the trails in the woods um i think that's really good i think that's probably one of the best things you can do because then you're in nature you're you're around the the trees and and the plants and you're getting that fresh air um yeah so so those are my favorite types of workouts um and i try to work out i've actually you know i, I was a little a little uh hesitant to to have a fitness show today uh cuz i have actually i have slacked a little bit on my fitness over the last few weeks since but you know it, that the, the main the main thing I think with fitness is consistency. All right. Consistency is the biggest factor in terms of if you're going to get the results that you are looking for in terms of your fitness. Um, I have consistently, you know, whether, you know, I've had periods, short periods of, you know, where I've taken a break, you know, even a few months at a time I've taken a break from really doing too much of uh, working out, uh, but I always come back to it. And so over the last, like, I don't, really since I was a teenager, I have always started my day with push-ups. Uh, I used to do more sit-ups. I don't really do that many sit-ups anymore, which coincidentally, I have more of a, a six-pack now, and I don't do sit-ups than I did back then on a standard diet and I did do sit-ups. So understanding for people out there that diet is truly, if you want to create the body that you are, you know, that you feel good in starts with diet, exercise and fitness, of course, are huge and they're very important. But, you know, if you're trying to lose weight, diet is, is really where it's at. So you want to make sure you get your diet tuned in and then to just support and to tone up and to just build your cardiovascular health and you know all the systems in your body need, need we need to exercise you know it's very important um but i know a lot of people are trying to i see i see it every day people out you know running uh trying to lose weight and still eating the dead animals the you know the secretions the ovulations of animals, the processed, just non, you know, identifiable ingredients, all these things that uh, are keeping them from reaching their fitness or their, uh, their weight goals and their fitness goals. You can't, you know, you can't really reach optimum health eating those sorts of things. So, all right, let's see here. Yeah, what time is it? I see Sherry is bombarding me with, questions sherry <laughs> just kidding okay um yeah so we've got um another 30 minutes i can go another 30 minutes or so uh, the game show is at two or sorry well two eastern time um all right so let's see did i answer that yeah so those are my favorite workouts and consistency is 
the number one tip I would say you have to, you just ha it has to be a non-negotiable to work out on a regular basis. It doesn't have to be every single day. I know a lot of people, I've heard Delilah, who we were going to have on here. Um, I've seen an interview of her. She said she only works out three times a week. Um, I know Ted Carr, who is big into fitness. I think he only works out like three times a week. Um, I, I like to do even just a few push-ups to start my day, just to get things flowing. Not, you know, I don't go full board every single day. And I do take, you know, a, a day rest uh, in between a lot of times. I would say I work out probably about five times a week. And um, I, go, I go harder um, like two to three times. And then the other times I'm just, I'm, I want to get my body moving because that's so important for, you know, the lymphatic system and the cardiovascular system and for your, your mental focus and all these things. So, you know, I don't see an animal in nature out there that is taking a rest day or, you know, just exercising three times a week. They're out there every single day using their muscles, using, you know, using their bodies. So the more we can exercise, the better to a certain extent, right? The more we can move, I guess I would say. You know, when you think of exercise, I think people think of really like pushing themselves and, um, you know, pushing their bodies, but just moving every single day, that's, that's awesome. So that, that's where it's at. Make sure you get movement in. Hopefully it's in fresh air outside. Um, stay away from those pesticide laden fields and parks that, uh, you know, do your best to find, uh, like nature centers that, that don't spray a bunch of crap, you know, in their, in their fields and stuff and their trails. Um, and yeah, that would be that would be my uh, ideal situation. All right, Sherry, let's see. Fitness, healing, fasting, how you educated yourself at such a high level. Juicy and game show topics. All right, Sherry. <laughs> uh, let's see. <laughs> um, so how did I educate myself at such a high level? Uh, well... It really comes down to <laughs> consistency again, right? Consistency of, okay, I'll, I'll change, let me change that. I would say, uh, mm, what is the right word? Um, I mean, consistency, yes, but um, just finding joy in learning and finding people, finding people that are, that have the results that you want, like learn from the people, same with diet. Like I learned when it came to eating a whole food plant-based diet from the people that I could see were truly educated and understood, you know, the hows and the whys of, of this lifestyle. Because, you know, I did listen to people that were fairly new and they had a lot of like really um you know confident answers and confident messages that they would put out but what i learned over time over the years that i've been doing this it's almost 13 years now uh there's a, a lot of the newer people they get excited because they learn a thing or two here and there and and then they they just think that because they learned from one person or read one book that they are an expert and then they and they say what they think confidently and so people follow that and so what what i learned over the years is that these people a lot of times you know they're, now they're not even in this lifestyle they're either like doing some crazy carnivore or like they're just doing the next trend um so you got to be careful about you know who who you follow and at the same time it's it's fine to follow any of these people but you have to be confident you have to be um you know grounded in your ability to discern why people fail and why you know like the, the people that are no longer in this lifestyle people that were following them 
some of them, I'm sure, stopped the, this lifestyle as well because that person stopped. And they, they followed them again without understanding why they changed. I think a lot of times it's financial reasons because people are trying to make a living online and there's nothing wrong with that, but you have to be aware of that. And so people are going to promote what makes them money to pay their bills and to give them you know, the financial life that they want. So there's always that you know, thing, there's always that stipulation you have to be aware of uh, anytime somebody is making their living online. And again, I, I'm trying to do the same thing, but I am doing my best to do it in the most ethical and morally sound way. So, you know, you got to look at what I'm saying too. Uh, I have my own beliefs and I'm sure they're not all correct, but I, I do my best to just provide you guys with things that I'm almost as confident as I possibly could be. Uh, and, and I've, I've, gotten a lot of great feedback. So I'm, I'm feeling like I'm doing all right, you know? So, so yeah, that's, that's how I educated myself, uh, and became so, um, I don't know, just sure of, of the, what I know, I guess, um, is I followed people that I could see like T Con Campbell, you know, professionals, professionals, um, that doesn't always mean they're going to be right. Um, but people that I know are educated, on this stuff. And then I look at the anecdotes, you know, of these other, you know, just influencers out there. And, and I just kind of take what resonates with me. And, and, and also when I find something that interests me, I go to PubMed and I, and not, of course, not all studies are going to be true as well, but PubMed, I think is, it's been one of the best sources of education for myself, because when you read studies and scientific articles on on PubMed versus a blog post you're getting such so much more depth in the information and you can learn about these different mechanisms and you know these different factors that go into health and why eating the things we eat has such an effect on the body and and really learning some of those more intricate workings uh, I think for me anyways, it's just so much, it gives you so much more confidence and, you know, it, it lessens the ability for outside, um, you know, influences to convince you otherwise, right? So there's all the people that are going to probably be in the comments section talking about how plants are trying to harm us and, you know, plants have feelings and Maybe they do, but, um, you know, so all the, all the common rhetoric that's out there regarding, you know, the people that want to scare you away from plants, when you really educate yourself and you understand the, the different effects, uh, of, of these foods, it's so much harder for them to, to really get you off your path. So yeah, that's what I do. I just read. I try to read as much as possible. I st I try to study as as many people as I can that I that I resonate with, even even people that I don't 100% agree with on everything. Um I I still try and learn what I can from them and then I leave the rest. Um so yeah, that's I don't know. I don't know if that answers it, but um that is kind of what comes to mind in terms of how I do that. All right. Hey, what's up, Jillian? Great to see you. Um, let's see, Carl. What's up, Carl? Good to see you too. Great to have you all here. Love it. Uh, sorry again that we were late and that uh, we didn't get our guest on today. Uh, we'll we'll try to reschedule Delilah. Um, I don't know if maybe the time change ha caused an issue or something. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, I haven't heard from her. Um, oops. So yeah, uh, any other questions that you guys uh, would like me to address? Again, just for those of you that uh, are just tuning in, uh, the Vegan Health Bundle is ending today at 12.59. Um, is that what it is? 12.59? No, 11.59. 
Yes, 11.59 p.m. EST. All right. So make sure if you are curious about the bundle, you check that link in my bio. I do get an, uh, an affiliate uh, commission if you choose to buy it. But if you click the link, you can just look at it without buying it. Um, and so you can see what's inside. And it's full of doctors, plant-based doctors, uh, nutritionists, dietitians, fitness experts, uh, you know, all the people that will help you get on this path in a healthy way and really get you on the right track. So, so let's see here. Mallory, I typed in a question about vitamin D. Oh. Vitamin D, fresh air, and gut health above. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed that. Let me take a look. How do you think fresh air and vitamin D affect our gut health? Ooh, great question. So I would say, now I, would, I haven't done a ton of research on how vitamin D affects the gut directly, but it is a hormone as I'm sure most of you know, that is important for um, a lot of things. Um, but, and, and, you know, you, you, could, you could be more, um, you know, reductionist and just say, like, vitamin D is great for bone health or vitamin D is great for immunity, right? But really, I think the vit when, when you, when you kind of reduce it down to, to being vitamin D is, is good for these things, uh, I think that you have to look at, of course, getting sunshine is, is very important. I'm not, I'm not saying that it isn't, but I would say that being outdoors in the sunshine, moving your body is, is where the benefit to gut health. And, and again, I'm sure there's specific things that vitamin D itself has benefits for gut health. Um, but if you look at it holistically, I would say, you know, exercise. If you're getting out into the sun, you're likely exercising. I guess not always. You could just be laying there sunbathing. Um, and the fresh air, of course, great for everything. You need to get fresh oxygen to all your cells and to your brain. Um, but, you know, the combination of the fresh air, the vitamin D, just being out in nature, the hormone, the hormonal balancing act that, that, all of that creates just in itself of, you know, there, there's studies that show that patients, and, and this is uh, Dr. Karasa mentioned this uh, on, the, on the show a couple weeks ago, patients heal faster when they are able to see nature. So even just seeing nature through the window, I mean, even if they're not in nature, which isn't ideal, but people that can see nature through the window, or if they're out more in nature, they heal so much faster. So is that due to the vitamin D? Probably. But also I think it's holistically just all of it because, you know, we are sensual beings. We are meant to be in the elements, not in our homes, in these artificial environments that have VOCs and artificial lights and all this hyper stimulation um, and it blocks us. It keeps us from grounding and earthing. You know, we're not putting our bare feet on the ground. Um, and so I think all of this affects the gut health for sure. Um, Cause the more you're in fresh air and you're in nature, you're taking in all of the microbes that are in that environment and that inoculates the gut and helps you to build a more resilient gut uh, and microbiome. And so, yeah, I would just say, um, you know, the, the effects of being in the sun, of being in fresh air, of hopefully having physical activity out in those environments, uh, you know, that's going to just balance our hormones and our hormones, our endocrine system is really what, you know, regulates are into everything that happens in our body. Um, and so if we are separating ourselves from the sun, from the earth, from fresh air, uh, we're definitely going to have a harder time reaching the level of health 
that we want and the hormonal balance and you know the mind the mental function um that that we should have really every everybody should have really good you know levels of all these things but uh most of us have been so separated from nature and our diets are so unnatural that you know the gut suffers and so does everything else from there you know our mental health our physical health our uh spiritual health yeah so again i hope that kind of answers the question uh let's see carl what's up carl saying hi to sherry sherry's the best Carl says, supermarket cinnamon can contain lead. Yes, it can. Any other herb spices to definitely buy organic? Yeah, that is a great uh, point, Carl. Thanks for mentioning that. So that's, that's a concern with really any powders, right? So any spices that you're buying have that potential to have concentrated uh, amounts of heavy metals and other contaminants. So yeah, it is, I do agree with you. It's very important to buy spices and herbs from companies that test for these things. Uh, I know Frontier Co-op is a great brand. They, they test for those things. Um, and so yeah, just buying any old cinnamon or any, um, you know, spices on the store shelf is, you know, it's, uh, it has risk associated with it. Um, and even green powders and any, again, any powders. So any, it doesn't just have to be a spice. It can be any powder. Um, so yeah, that is definitely something to be aware of. Um, again, not to, you know, it's, it's never my intention I know I, I bring up all these scary things to, <laughs> to bring awareness. It's not to, to make people fearful of, of just eating, but it is important to know these things because, of course, when you know better, you can do better, and, and you don't, you're never going to be perfect, right? Nobody is. Um, but having that awareness can help you make better choices and start looking to brands that are taking more responsibility for the quality and the and the uh purity of what they're providing us so um yeah i mean that's one of the the reasons i've um kind of experimented with not using any spices um in in the last few weeks uh, i i you know but a bit again i i only buy organic and and most of what i buy is from frontier so uh actually i take that back we get it from um from natural grocers which is a a great grocery store that only has organic fresh produce they don't carry conventional produce um but that actually reminds me i um i need to look into that because i i haven't uh haven't researched their spices for how if they test for that but um Thanks for bringing that up, because now I'm gonna I'm gonna have to look into that. But yeah, Frontier is is the one company that I know of that that um, is su supposedly doing a, a good job with um, you know monitor monitoring that stuff. All right, thanks for the question. Yeah, prepared, not scared. I like that exactly. It's. You know, there's a lot of things in, in our environment these days, thanks to, you know, big industry and, you know, just irresponsibility that we have to, uh, we have to educate ourselves and become aware of, of things so that we don't end up later on with issues due to uh, a lack of awareness. All right. Carl says, I'll need to find something like Frontier in the UK. Yeah, I, I don't know if they're an international company or not, but... I'm sure I'm sure the UK has has a company like that. So there's usually there's usually a way, right? There's a, usually uh if you look, there's usually something out there that uh is is better quality and something that's safer and healthy. So 
Oh, yeah. What else is going on, guys? Anything? 12.17. We've got 13 minutes. 13 minutes before I have to go uh, prepare for the game show. i got to make sure that we've, we're have we doing our sound and audio checks because you know how technology works, and this program I use is a little, a little finicky. So... Hopefully all my sound effects work today. Uh, it's always fun when those are working. And um, yeah, hopefully there's no issues with the video or audio. I, I think uh, I think we're finally getting past a lot of that stuff, but it's still, you know, it still happens. Um, so yeah. All right. Any other last second questions? Anything? Now, I guess I'll just, while I wait, uh, I'll just remind everybody that maybe it was just stop it in that uh, last day, last day to get the whole, the vegan health bundle that has over 150 contributors uh, that have products in there. And it's over $8,000 worth of value. And so you're getting it for $49, guys, 49 bucks. And you get over $8,000 worth of eBooks and courses and programs and so much other stuff i haven't even looked through the entire thing but everything that i have seen looks amazing you know you got let me let me pull it up here i'll, I'll give you just a quick overview of who some of the people that are in this bundle all right you got Dr. McDougal. So again, this is both cooked and raw, all right? Cooked and raw. Um, so you get best of both worlds. It's all healthy, whole food recipes. <clears throat> so Dr. McDougal, you got Lissa Maris from Raw Food Romance. You got Chef AJ, uh, Nate Maris. Um, you've got plant-based Japanese recipes by Chef Julia Dunaway. Um, you've got Cooking for Company by Tammy Kramer. Uh, <clears throat> the best of very veganish by Abby Cowell. All right, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna um, say everybody's name. I'm just gonna say what their product is, and just really just go click the link, and you can review all this for yourself too. Um, oh yeah, good point, Sherry. Uh, you can probably get. Yeah, you can. You should be able to order Frontier online. Um, but again, I don't know how that works internationally. Uh, yes, thank you, Mallory. I appreciate that. Hope my answers were, you know, somewhat helpful. Um, the Art of Raw Barbecue. Hey, there's a good one. Raw Kitchen Essentials. You got Smoothies and Spice. Yoga for All Bodies. Make It Raw Volume 2. That was the um, course or the video program that Lissa and uh, Chef AJ did. You got uh, Beautiful Vegan Food Styling by Raw Chef Yin. Uh, aging or sorry acing age with ayurveda got the plan a diet oil-free salad dressings the dressing difference by the by dr dina's uh rick and karen dina simply sweet plentiful weight loss cook along uh the early days by Gustu gustavo tolosa easy healthy vegan Feel great desserts, age well with strong bones, raw nation, vegan revolution, food freedom course, infection protection by Dr. Furman, uh, cook, eat, and live, eat, move, rest, whole food plant-based recipes. I mean, do you want me to keep going? There's a lot in here. Again, it's over 150 things. So, I mean, that's just a little preview for you guys. I won't, I won't go through everything, but um, like I said, just click the link. And just take a browse, see if it's anything that you think might be interesting and valuable to you. Um, yeah. What else do we got in here? Vegan kids can cook. There you go. There's one for the parents out there. Menopause muscle workout plan. So if you're in that category, you got a resource that can help you out. All right. Uh, any other no questions came in? Um, all right, let's see. I took some notes. Let me see what else I had for notes that I was going to share in the show. Usually what happens is if um, if I don't, if either we don't have a show, or what I, at least what I'm trying to do. I, I think I've only done this once, but I'm, gonna, I'm trying to do this um, with all my free time. 
when somebody when I don't so when I have a guest on and and it's just better to let them kind of take the show and and I not put in my three points that I like to you know sprinkle in. Um, I'll put those three points into my newsletter. And so in my next newsletter, I'll put in there, you know, my, how, how fitness changed my life. Um, you know, cause that's what I was going to have Delilah talk about is how fitness can truly transform your life in so many ways. Um, mentally, physically, spiritually, it's it, like I said, it's so important weight. It's not necessarily the key to weight loss. It's not at all, really, but um, it is the key to overall health, right? So um, that is just something to think about. If you're not signed up to my newsletter, to definitely go sign up to that so that you can hear my, you know, how, how fitness transformed my life and my mindset. Um, Sherry said, did Jillian and I confirm our guest appearance on your next game show? Oh, wow. That? Hey. I, I'm holding you to that, all right? Sherry and Jillian are on the next game show, all right? <laughs> no, I don't know. If if they want to, they definitely can be. I think that would be a terrific show. Um, I know there's been talk in the comments section that, uh, you know, there's been some other people that have been interested in being on, so I haven't gotten any emails, guys. Don't be scared. It's It's a fun time. You know, you don't have to be nervous. Everybody seems to be nervous, so... But everybody ends up having a great time, as I'm sure you could tell. So it's uh, it's just for fun, just for some entertainment and hopefully education. So just doing my best to, to give you guys something different, right? Bringing more fun into this community and to learning, right, about this information. Um, yeah, I hope, I hope uh, more people start tuning in. Those of you that do tune in, I appreciate you, and I, I love you guys. But uh, yeah, I wanna I wanna grow the show. I think I think it, it's a it's a great way to learn is to have fun, have trivia, uh, you know. And I and I love games. I always grew up loving game shows. So I don't know if you guys were big game show fans. You know, I always remember watching The Price Is Right and Wheel of Fortune and Whammy. Wait, Whammy. That's not what it's called. Press My Luck, I think is what it was called. Um, you know, a lot of game shows that I, that I enjoyed watching. So Game Show Network, I think, is what it was on. So yeah, that's, uh, that's what I got for you guys today. I don't have a whole lot else right now. But like I said, we're about to come back online here in just uh, 35 minutes with Tara and Gary. And they're going to be competing head-to-head in a fierce battle of holistic health trivia. Um, and yeah, so I think that's it. You guys got anything else? You guys last five minutes, you got five minutes to, to, uh, you know, pull something out of me. Oh, Sherry said, does, does it have to be live? That's the scary part. Sherry, Sherry, that's not scary. You, that's, I mean, you're, <laughs> yes, it has to be live, Sherry. That's the fun of it, because we want everybody to be able to participate and uh, get, their, get their input in on the answers. So uh, I, I think everybody should encourage Sherry to be on the game show and on my health show, too. Sherry's an expert in, in all things health. So, you know, she likes to hang out and support other creators, but I think she needs to get out there and, uh, you know, start shining her light more directly to the internet, all right? She, she does good, though. She, she is, I'm impressed by what she does. So she has at Sherry Likes Fruit, if you guys want to go subscribe to her channel. She's uh, putting out some very entertaining cat footage and other uh, content. So, <laughs> so yes, uh, thank you, everybody, for being here. Again, it's always great to see you. Sorry we didn't have a regular show today, but uh, I will do my best to get Delilah back on or on um, at some point. We are pretty much booked through May, so it'll be a little while before we can get her back on. Um, but yeah, I think she has a, val a very valuable message to share 
Um, if you don't already follow her, go give her a follow. Uh, it's Delilah, uh, Delilah Raw Fit or Delilah Fit Raw. Delilah Fit Raw, I think. Um, so yeah, she's uh, she's out there promoting fitness and raw foods. So yeah. Uh, let's see. Sherry says, thank you for gracing us with your presence. Are you talking to Carl or are you talking to me? <laughs> I bet you're talking to Carl. Thank you, Carl, for being here. Truly, I appreciate you being here all the time. Um, and Sh Carl says, Sherry, you are just amazing. You've got this. I agree. See, Carl, I'm with you. Sherry has it. She can, she can be on the show, on a live show, and do just, just amazing. All right. Thank you again, guys. I hope you all have a great Sunday afternoon. And again, I hope you will join us again here at 2 p.m. Eastern time. That's in just about a half an hour. And we're going to have some fun. I've got some really good questions for the contestants. All right here. All right. Oh, ooh, you could have maybe caught what the lightning round. Oh, no, that's from last week. All right. So you didn't get any sneak peeks. But yeah, got all the questions right here for the for the contestants, and I think it's going to be a good time. So tune in to have some fun and to learn some things, I hope. And <laughs> thank you, Sherry. I appreciate you. And yeah, we'll see you next time, guys. Thanks again. Have a great Sunday.